I'm John Shaneholz, Pioneer Field Agronomist in Northern Ohio. I want to take a couple minutes and review some keys for weed control success in soybeans, even as planting is delayed. Season-long weed control success is really achieved by a three-step process. First is starting clean with burned down herbicides or tillage. Second step would be using a pre-emergent residual herbicide with multiple sites of action. The third step being post-emergent strategic herbicide applications. Now the field that I'm in today looks pretty clean, looking at it from the road or across this field as we stand here right now. But a closer look reveals mare's tail and giant ragweed is emerging, as well as numerous other winter annuals that we would expect to see in a field like this. I haven't seen any yet, but pigweed species such as water hemp will be expected to emerge in the coming weeks um, in areas where the, that weed has become a problem. Now burn down herbicides are important because these weeds become much more challenging to control as we get later in the season. Soybeans are also quite sensitive to weed pressure early on in the season. So what burn down options do I have that will maximize control and reduce the wait time between spraying and planting? This is really where the Extend system with Fexapan or other approved dicamba herbicides really shines. We can spray today and not worry about measuring rain and counting days. Dicamba does a great job with mare's tail even as we move into later spring and it also allows for numerous tank mixing with residual herbicides. If the dicamba system is not an option, we still like 2,4-D. When 2,4-D is combined with glyphosate and metribuzin or other residual herbicides, we can expect good control of weeds. Uh, the drawback to this program is the required plant back interval of seven or more days, depending on the product used and the use rates in the field. Um, so in these cases, prioritizing herbicide applications as soon as the field is fit, and then focusing on planting corn until that interval passes can still result in success with this kind of a system. Sharpen um, provides the option for burn down with no plant back in most cases. Um, but even when mixed with glyphosate and metribuzin, it may struggle with larger, tough to control weeds. If Sharpen wasn't part of the original plan, also note that the residual tank mixes are quite limited without a plant back restriction. Finally, um, just to mention Gramoxone with a crop oil and metribuzin, or glufosinate with AMS and metribuzin, are some other options for control without a plant back restriction. These programs can be quite pricey, and Paraquat is a difficult chemical, so I would consider these lower priority options. They're also really relying on that contact herbicide, so 15 to 20 gallons per acre um, is important so you get that full contact in that dense canopy when it's present. So there's many nuances and considerations with any chemical program, so don't hesitate to ask questions to make sure that you're setting yourself up for success. Your Pioneer team will continue to provide tips and updates throughout this growing season. That concludes this Pioneer Growing Point Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.